hi everyone and welcome to fix and action youtube channel so here we got galaxy j2 and we will be trying to bypass google account from this model to do so let's first we want to make sure it's locked and we need to connect it with wi-fi first in the first place uh, to find out if it's locked you will see that the next button is uh, off it's gray color so it means it got a password or a google account especially or is it uh, frp locked so let's connect it with our wi-fi first Alright, so we are connected now. Let's press next. Agree to all the terms. Press next. Let's check in for updates. Alright, so here we see that it got a Google account or a Patron code or Patron lock. Uh, let's try to uh, see if it has this Patron. Okay, so it got a different Patron and we don't know about that or we are just trying for fun. Let's go back. So once it's connected, all you have to press and hold uh, power button and volume up button for for a second like that's how you do it press and hold for one second so talk back is now turned on uh, just draw L on the screen faster and you see here is a uh, talk back settings click on that once you are in the talk back settings uh, press and hold the power button and uh, volume up once again for a second now it's off now slide to the down and you see here help and feedback click on that see here about switch access for android click on that you'll see here um, youtube video click on that video once you press on the, uh, above that video you'll see here a share option here click on share option click again on three dots here or here it will open up youtube for you once it is opened uh, click on share again here you will see share on the youtube video also you will see here it has a lot of apps once you click on share a lot of apps will pop up that you want to share it with what so we wanna uh, share it with email you will see there will be gmail also you can try with that also uh, but we're gonna try with email here click on that all right, so once you click on email, type your email here, any email. We are trying to write our email. We will write this one at Gmail. All right, so as soon you type at gmail.com or yahoo.com or whatever email it is, this manual setup will turn on. Click on manual setup. You see three more options here pop3 imap microsoft exchange active click on the third one microsoft exchange active you see here uh, server settings client certificate is off just click on use client certificate and it will turn on so cl click on client certificates option and it will give you a message set secure screen lock type to use credential storage set the screen lock type patron pen or password press ok click on patron require patron with 
when device turns on continue now we need to draw our pattern here let's write s continue write s again or draw s again confirm now cancel that and restart the device when the phone restarts so it will ask you for the startup patron or a password especially patron because we just draw a patron here and once we bypass that one uh, so it means the phone is successfully unlocked in some cases uh, the google account will be still there but when, when we draw the, the uh, patron it will bypass and remove the google account or frp lock from the device you can try this method on some other uh, phones as well especially samsung devices and let us know in the comment section if it worked for you guys or not so let's draw s here that's it so the phone is starting now and we can know from this screen uh, startup screen that the google account or frp or factory reset direction has been unlocked and now you can go ahead and set up the device Starting Android. Hi there. All right. Start it. Okay, it's already connected with Wi-Fi. Press on next. Accept all the terms. Press next. Checking for updates again. If there is new releases for the firmware or updates, uh, binary updates, so it will install automatically. So let's see. checking for info okay so now let's draw our new pattern let's see for this method you don't need any quick shortcut maker or any other app that's it we got it we did it skip that Google account and now follow up the setup wizard press on next more accept okay adding finishing touches so this method has nothing to do to download any of the apps or anything else all you need a wi-fi network or internet and that's it and follow this video thank you guys for watching this video please like and subscribe for more videos if it helped you guys and please don't forget to comment uh, if you have any questions or suggestions